Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Browns Point United Methodist Church. My name is Reverend Katie Klosterman, and it's my joy to welcome you here. If it's your first time, we really say good morning and welcome. Uh, you picked a wonderful day. Every Sunday is like the one you're about to receive. Uh, with the choir singing so beautifully, um, but we have a wonderful choral cantata in store for you as we celebrate this Palm Passion Sunday. Um, in light of celebrations, we have two important celebrations. I'm going to start with Gretchen Nelson's going to come forward. Come here. She told me this after worship on Sunday, and I was not pleased, so she's going to now make an announcement. Yes, you are going to make we're going to ce celebrate joy. So what happened? Well, I got engaged. Yay! <laughs> good, 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 good. And your fiance is here. What's his name? Andrew. Andrew, welcome. We don't <laughs> usually put people on the spot, but it's Gretchen, so we'll, you know. So you'll put me on the yes, spot. Yes, I'll put Gretchen on the spot. Okay. So uh, let's just give another clap, praise to God. We're excited for her engagement. So thank you. Yes. <laughs> Tina Anton's next, so come on up, Tina. Anton, you're next. You have some exciting announcement too. Sorry. People will always sneak into church at the last minute to avoid these types of things. Baby. Oh, so on Tuesday, I became a great auntie for the first time. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm supposed to say. So yes. my parents are great grandparents and it's our first, um, she's a little girl, seven pounds. 12 ounces, 18 inches long, and her name is Emmy Kate Kalista, after my grandmother that recently passed. Yes. So, we celebrate also, um, I just, I'm going to give a little bit of update on Kaden. Kaden, uh, for those who don't know, is Eric and Julie's great grandson who is at St. Joseph's Hospital. He was born at 23 weeks and five days. It's been a couple of weeks since he's been born. Um, and as you all who walked with Nathan and Kaylin and I, it's a roller coaster. Uh, so he has some good days and maybe not so good days and then good days. So um, he's on oxygen still and they're just watching him and giving him what he needs. So they continue to ask for prayers at this time. And we'll continue to walk with you for the next, until he's home, until he's home. Uh, and even then we won't give up. So, all right, that being said, uh, after worship, we're going to go downstairs, make 300 sandwiches for Nativity House. I can't think of anything better to celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, to honor his life um, in honor of loving our neighbors as ourselves. Amen? Amen. Amen. I do want to share. Is it okay if I share? Okay. So Carrie uh, lost um, her best friend's mom, um, and so it's like losing her second mom. So we just want to hold Carrie and her best friend, and it was Linda, Linda, so Linda who passed away. So we'll hold Carrie in our thoughts and prayers. Okay, we are in the midst of the highs and the lows of life, and some days it's fine, and then it's good, and then it's rough as heck. So we hold each other together in all of that. And with that, and since it's a beautiful day, we're headed outside to process in and celebrate Jesus entering Jerusalem. So I invite you to head on outside. You're going to have to stand Bring your bulletin, bring your bulletin, and your a palm front.
Mary Laud in honor. In celebration, we continue our journey with Jesus. We will go with him for a while until he turns towards Calvary. And so, O oh God, help us walk all the way, all the way with Jesus as he gives his life up for the world in love. And may that love transform our hearts, transform our minds so that we remember that it is love that always has the last word. And may your love transform our world that is hurting so badly this day, for this is the love we witness and honor today. And the people of God said, amen. Please be seated. Our hymn of preparation is Jesus Walk This Lonesome Valley. It's found in your bulletin, but it's also in the Faith We, Faith we Sing, which is the Thin Little Black Book on 2112. <laughs>
as is customary when a story is told in cantata form, music narration, music narration, or scripture readings, there'd be no applause between movements. streets of Jerusalem echoed in song and with shouts of Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For the followers of Jesus, this was truly a day of celebration as their king triumphantly rode into town on a donkey's colt, accompanied by jubilant praise. Hiding in the shadows of those same streets, however, Skeptics and ruthless religious leaders gathered, sowing seeds of hate and doubt as they plotted to bring an end to this humble teacher's influence.
Surely these evil schemers could find an ally among those closest to the so-called Messiah. After all, anyone can be bought if the payment is adequate. And so the plan was hatched, a plan that would ultimately mean securing the aid of a willing disciple, one who would betray Jesus for a few pieces of silver.
Jesus and his disciples had come to Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish Passover. As they gathered to share the Passover meal, Jesus told them of difficult days yet to come. He told them of betrayal and that he would soon be leaving them. And then he took the bread, broke it, and gave it to them. This is my body given for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Passover meal we can share, but in a short while I must leave you, and no one can follow me there. So take this bread, this is my body. Take this wine, this is my blood. Shed for forgiveness to set captives free. Do this in remembrance of me. After the meal, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. The burden of grief was overwhelming as Jesus anticipated the events which were to come and all that his followers would soon experience. He poured out his heart in anguish. Abba, Father, if it is possible, take this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done.
The solitude of a remote garden was suddenly shattered when an angry mob led by Judas arrived armed with swords and clubs. They seized Jesus, arresting him and taking him to Caiaphas, the high priest, and to the teachers of the law. In a night marked by betrayal, false accusations, and a mock trial, Jesus was sentenced to a criminal's death, crucifixion on a cross. In one final act of love, Jesus offered no resistance as he was handed over to the very people he had come to save. Jesus was led to Golgotha, where he was nailed to a cross between two criminals. As witnesses mocked him, a company of soldiers divided up his clothes in a final act of humiliation. 
Darkness came over the whole land as the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Calling out in a loud voice, Jesus said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And then he died on the cross.
that? <laughs> you all did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. Thank you to Daryl for your leadership. Thank you to Ken for your leadership and your incredible playing as always. Again, thank you to our incredible choir for blessing us and really helping us understand the meaning and the power of the cross and the life, death, and soon to be resurrection of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Let us pray. I'm going to say, save us, O Lord. And I believe the response of the people in your bulletin says, for your mercy is great. So I'll say that. Save us, O Lord. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of your Son, the light of the world, who came to set us free, free from shame, free from the ways we deny ourselves as your children, to set us free from evil, violence, and hatred to set us free from what divides us. So save us, O oh Lord, for your mercy is great. God, we acknowledge that there are places in our lives and in our world that still feel like Good Friday. We especially acknowledge the places of war and famine throughout the world. We pray for the people of Gaza. We pray for the Israeli hostages. We pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray for the over 130 people who lost their lives due to terrorism in Moscow. We pray for the people of Haiti and anywhere in your world, O oh God, where people are hungry. So save us, O oh Lord, for your mercy is great. We take this moment of silence, O oh Lord, to lift up to you those whom we love that need your healing hand. Save us, O oh Lord, for your mercy is great. We especially pray for those in our community of faith who need your healing. Carol Novotny, David Warren, Julie Fieser, Laura Edwards, Ray Holmes, Therese Parker Black's son-in-law, Kevin, for Merlin, for Caden, for Mary Ann Odney's son, bring them your healing and peace, O God. Save us, O Lord. We join all of these prayers and the prayers we've lifted up silently to you as we pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus gave himself up for the life, uh, gave up his life for the sake of the world. With humble hearts we bow in awe. Let us offer ourselves and our gift to God. This Lenten mission offering this year is going to benefit Tuck Willows Riverton Park United Methodist Church as they are uh, taking care of people who are unhoused. This includes caring for 400 asylum seekers, people who are here legally in the United States, and they are predominantly from Angola and Venezuela. So I invite the ushers to please come forward. us pray. As we offer our gifts this day, God of salvation, remind us that we are called not just to parades, but to serving in the streets, not just to waving palm branches, but offering our hands to those in need, not just to days of celebration, but into the hearts that suffer and cry out for help. In Jesus' name we pray, and the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Remembering the love of Jesus Christ, a love that transformed the world, a love that reminds us that death never has the final word. And so we continue this service on Good Friday and the culmination on Easter Sunday. Go in peace. Mm -hmm. 